So in keeping with the timing of the program, we, the next up is um, Chalice Pelotu from Papua New Guinea. So the title is Impacts of Seventh-day Adventism on Traditional Ecological Knowledge of the Radiana Bird of Paradise along the Kokoda Track, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, uh, Gerard, um, and also the ESA for accepting uh, me to come to this conference. My name is Chalice Pulotu. I recently finished from an MPhil from Pacific Adventist University, and it's a privilege to be here. Um, I think I might be one of the only Papua New Guineans, I think, here presenting at this conference. Um, but Anyway, because of time, let me get straight into it. The title, as mentioned, Impacts of Seventh-day Adventism on Traditional Ecological Knowledge of the Ragiana Bird of Paradise along the Kokoda Track in Papua New Guinea. Um, and so to start off with, I would like to acknowledge the indigenous people, the traditional custodians, the Koyari indigenous people along the Kokoda Track in central province Papua New Guinea, where this research was conducted they are the landowners along the Kokoda Track and Pacific Ad Adventist University. I thank the Koyari people who willingly participated in this research and pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. The Kokoda Track was important during the World War II campaign in Papua. It was here that a bloody battle took place between Australian diggers and the Imperial Japanese Army in 1942. Covering a distance of 96 kilometers, the elevation gain over this distance is more than 6,000 meters, and it can be demanding to the legs and body. I personally have walked this track. I walked it again for my thesis repatriation last year, and the Kokoda track is known by many as one of the toughest multi-day treks in the world. The Owen Stanley Range couldn't have been a more inhospitable site to fight a war as the terrain is extremely rugged and remote. Strewn across the trail are mem memorials of this war campaign. The landscape is beautiful, forest blanketed by greenery and mountains majestic. Koyari villages dot the trail and friendly villages offer us fresh bananas along the way. I was privileged to have consent from the Koyari people to collect ethnobiology data on the iconic Ragiana Bird of Paradise, which is PNG's national em emblem, which is also shown on my shirt um, design. And so with this, the traditional ecological knowledge, or TEK as I'll refer to it, or indigenous science, um, as we all probably already know, is the accumulated volume of knowledge, uh, practice, and beliefs advanced by adaptive means uh, passed down through many generations by cultural conveyance. So the aim of my research was to evaluate the influence of Seventh-day Adventism, or SDA, on Koyari indigenous people and their traditional ecological knowledge, TEK, of the Ragiana Bird of Paradise along the Kokoda Track in PNG. So basically, um, the case was basically to investigate the impact of Adventism on TEK, as globally there is an erosion of TEK, or, or indigenous knowledge associated religious, uh, indigenous religious beliefs and associated cultural diversity. In this study, we investigate coincidental impacts of Christianity on TEK amongst the Koyari indigenous people in Central Province, and the predominant religion of the Koyari being Christianity, specifically Seventh-day Adventist, uh, the denomination. The methods which we used were basically a, a mixed methods approach um, or methodology we use the convergent parallel uh, mixed methods designed 
um, which is mentioned by Cresswell. Um, and also to, uh, questionnaires, sorry, questionnaires as our instrument or tool to look at social, uh, environmental, and ecological research designs uh, in uh, Excel and also using uh, SPSS version 25 um, to analyze quantitative data. So as mentioned, the track was 96 kilometers. However, we only um, hiked half of the track um, because that's where the main villages were. Um, and so shown here on this map, uh, figure six here, are the villages. Um, we visited four villages, however, from this tract adapted from Bino, uh, who was someone that I collaborated with on this project. Unfortunately, he has passed on from then, but Dr. Bino, um, he's a Papua New Guinean that um, had done some previous work along the Kokoda track. And so you can see they're highlighted in red, um, Yori Baiwa, Agulogo, which is not shown there, but it's another small village, and then Manari and Efogi. So Efogi is halfway between um, of the whole Kokoda trek. The research questions that we looked at were, firstly, what are the perceptions of Seventh-day Adventists on uh, to TEK and, and the values? And two, since the introduction of Seventh-day Adventism along the Kokoda track, has this changed conservation efforts towards the Piragana and the environment? So we, um, we looked at the types of Christian attitudes towards the, the Piragana, and the respondents were selected based on ease of access, availability, and willingness to participate. The respondents for the questionnaire uh, were selected randomly with each respondent to accept our invitation in each village being interviewed. And so... Uh, Christian faith, specifically Adventism, was elicited from uh, respondents' answers relating to Christian faith and conservation of the Regiana and its environment. And so we then used an ordinal five-point scale following Yang and Huang 2018, their method which showed the respondents' impact factor of Christian faith on conservation of the Regiana and its environment. Sorry, I hope I'm not going too fast. Um, and so the five-point scale, as is shown here, one being, um, I've just um, summarized it, no faith, uh, two, least faith, three, moderate faith, four, great faith, and five, exceptional faith. Each, each of those had specific um, you know, um, variables as to how we looked at their, uh, or measured the faith impact. And so, out of the 48 locals surveyed, 20 were females and 28 were males. This was made up entirely of men and women who had spent most of their lives in the Koyari village communities. And so, looking at this, our results then showed that for Adventist Christians towards TEK and values, the majority of the respondents, so 25 males and 19 females, said, yes, uh, Christianity has changed their traditional knowledge and values. So we see that there um, with the top 18, sorry, top 18% 18 of respondents for gender to the question, has Christianity changed TEK and values? Also, we then look to see, okay, is, if this is happening in genders, um, so the genders, both male and female, say this, but then in terms of the villages. Um, and then we found that, again, yes, um, with Yoribaiwa, Agologo, Manari, and Efogi, all of those villages said, yes, Christianity has changed TEK and values. Then we looked at uh, their Christian faith and the, the Regiana for conservation. Uh, again, they said, yes, Christian faith had an impact on how they conserve the environment. 22 males and 15 females said this. While those who said no, males were higher with uh, six males compared to five females, as shown there in the graph. And um, again, with the ordinal five-point scale of the impact factor, you can see 
seeing that more males, um, interestingly, uh, more males said that, uh, yes, it had um, exceptional faith impact. Um, and so it, it was interesting to find that, you know, males, because uh, males in this case, some of them weren't avid, um, you know, churchgoers, as we would say. Um, and so with that Christian faith and environmental conservation, um, we also looked at um, the, so faith and the environment, not only faith and the, the bird, but faith and, and their environment. And again, um, the question was asked, has your faith had an impact on how you conserve the environment? And then answers relating to this showed again, as shown here in the graph, that um, they stated, yes, um, close to 60% uh, of males that were interviewed said, yes, faith did have an impact on how they conserved the environment as a whole, not just the, the bird. And so um, while for local Koyari people of the SDA church that said there was negative influence, they claimed that no traditional stories were passed down. And so with this in table one here, we see the influence of the SDA church towards conservation in Koyari and comments on Piragiana beliefs, 45 of the, resp of the 48 uh, said that, that the Adventist church had a positive uh, influence. However, again, they mentioned that they don't kill the Piragiana because they're special. Most hunt the cassowary for pigeons. And three said that it was negative. Okay, so, sorry, just as a conclusion, that even if there remains respect for the Piragiana, there has been a change because nature is not seen as sacred, uh, and thus desacralization has occurred. Um, the contradiction, however, is that though the Koyari people say they conserve the Regiana bird of paradise, they still hunt the bird. And so the Koyari mentioned that we should be good stewards of the environment. The implications of our research challenge Lynn White's 1967 thesis, showing that religion may cause a pro-environmental stewardship effect. Lastly, just two recommendations um, that Koyari indigenous people uh, help from a young age to be guided and instructed on their TEK. And finally, that indigenous people, especially the Koyari indigenous people, should have their TEK known, treasured, and utilized in their communities. Thank you. Do you think that the variations between men and wo women could have just been because of the small sample size, not um, because there was a difference? Or do you think it was um, there was actually a difference in the data? Yeah. Um, when we had collected the, the, um, the, the data, it was um, also during the time when most of the uh, men and women uh, had taken their children because there's no um, form of, well, the only form of transportation out of the villages is by plane. And most of the indigenous people walk along the track. So um, it was basically, I, I believe it would have been similar. We would have seen the same results. Um, and so, yeah, I, I hope that answers your question. Yes. Uh, thanks for that. I'm interested, sorry if you did speak to it and I maybe missed it, um, given that it seemed like a lot of the Koyari co um, yeah. people felt that there was a positive influence of, of uh, the Seventh-day Adventist religion on on their values, Was that is that yeah. fair claim? Was there much of a desire to reconnect with that um, traditional ecological knowledge and, and, and yeah, rebuild and heal that knowledge? Uh, thank you for that question. Yes, I believe there was some sort of um, uh, wanting to reconnect with the environment because one of the things that uh, the respondents, as I after I interviewed them, uh, I realized um, that one of the ladies came and told me, uh, 
that the, in, in PNG it's called the Conservation Environmental Protection Authority. So they, 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 they've never heard of um, this sort of uh, research being done before. Uh, maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a, a bad thing, but um, so in terms of that, they, they did want more in terms of, um, yeah, biocultural and um, indigenous understanding of their knowledge being understood as well. Thank you. Thanks. 